All right, long trips means you gotta have everything prepped. So we are headed a long drive. And this tire has <laughs> hit the brakes hard. Uh, trailer brakes have been too heavy when it's light and no weight on it. So we have balled it a couple tires. We've skidded them across the pavement. So time to re-up on some fresh tires. Doing some maintenance on the wedge, but she's a beast even to get in the shop here. We are sick of trying to pack a ton of jugs of fuel. We've also lost some along the way. We're gonna fab up some stuff, get some metal right here all welded down, and that way we can put our big barrels here full of fuel, and then that way we're not having to run to gas stations near as much. So here we go. Let's get some welding done. Guys, how quick we'll go through this 100 gallons, but I mean, Steve, just a perfectionist. Welded it all up, bolted it all up. This thing is in here. I mean, trailer can roll and this thing's not coming off. So we gotta have a big shout out to Steve. All right, it's time to load up. St. Anthony, here we come. Finally got the trailer ready, the fuel tank ready, the Can-Am's got some setup going on. We got a little extra horse. We're up at the step. See if Bo can handle this on his own. He's done it enough, he should. I think he's gonna get it all by himself. That exhaust, a little bit better sound than the normal Can Am. Boom. Uh, Are you ready for this? Yeah. Do you think the Pro Art is gonna fit on the back of this trailer? Yes, but by a tight fit. I have a feeling the rear of his tire will be like right here. Yeah. Five paces. Like, technically, the tire that touches it will be touching, but I don't think it'll be. I think some rear tire will be hanging off. You act like it wasn't on. That's, oh, that's oodles on. We got a foot. We got a foot. A foot. That's not a foot. That's a foot where it's touching. I'm pretty sure the DOT would be like, that's barely on. I'm pretty sure DOT can suck it because we got a foot from touch. Okay, we got to thank our friends here at Tracassi taking care of us. We have used their straps that they given us once before for the Funko, the Bronco, Raptor. But now we got to try their other editions. They wanted to see if what we thought of the next edition that they do. These are only like 75 bucks. So cheap for wheel straps. Hook it to the frame there. Got a good hook point. And get to clicking. You guys think these will work? I sure hope so. Cause we are headed to Idaho with this. So if this doesn't work. It's going to end up in somebody's car. So cross our fingers. All right, so the wedge trailer is big and long, but we are nose to nose with every car here. So this ought to be interesting. We uh, barely can get everything on just by inches here and a little bit of hang off, but we're excited. All right, guys, we are headed to St. Anthony Sand Dunes and we are super stoked. Chad was so excited. Look at what he did. Packard exhaust. Boom. Yeah, he's not playing around here. We got the Packard exhaust, soon to be a supercharger. Just yeah, I put, a, I put a trunk on here too. Yep. So DRT trunk, no more bungee cords flying all over the place. What else do we got? Come on over. Let's see what else we got. Oh um, my. We got metal freaking doors. Yeah, that's metal. Yeah, my doors little... were all chomped up. Those are UTV Zilla doors. And we also got a little hidden secret inside. Let me show you. Boom. That's right, Viper Shifter. Chad has gone all out on the Pro R. The thing is lit, ready to rip. And I installed the exhaust and the shifter myself, so. I guess I guess we're not just uh, city boys. We'll have to, I didn't do any video of me doing it, but. And I, I did a lot of love to this. She needed a lot of TLC. We did some adjusting, we did some fluid changes. 
she is ripping and ready to roll. So Funko's good to go. Let's move on to the next one. What do we got here? Another Pro R. Now the Pro R is actually pretty dang the same as always other than my lights but we are headed to St. Anthony Sand Dunes and we are making a pit stop on the way to get this big boy a little bit more HP because she needs it and then we move on up to here and we got Bose Can-Am and he went all out too he did not keep his stock we got an exhaust from RPM we also got charge tubes RPM so keeping it real, the blow off valve. So she's got a little bit more pep in the step. She's got a little bit better sound. She's gonna be solid for the big boy sand dunes, St. Anthony sand dunes, the big boys. So we are ripping and ready to roll. So let's get on the road. Oh, don't forget. We have the DOT rated custom rim and tire here. It's the perfect setup for a massive trailer setup. No, not really, but we're doing it. Don't forget, we also went all out with the 100 gallon fuel tank. We are just burning fuel like you wouldn't believe. We're making those environmentalists ticked off. So we'll do everything we can and burn as much fuel as we can just to help out the environment. Here we go. We're getting close. Only a handful of fuel ups. At about 150 bucks a piece. Thanks we go, go. Thanks a lot, Bin Laden. They put a tomato in that? Yeah. That's weird. Did you guys tell put a tomato in it? Yeah, I, I, I gave her 32, I gave her my change to make huge. sure to put a tomato in your food. Pretty sure that's. I didn't know what was going on, but she was talking in Spanish to the other. I was pretty sure that was. Yeah. I'm like, what is she talking about? Bo's just like, what she was just trying to <clears throat> tell her to put the tomato on. <laughs> All right, we're in Idaho, and we are in search for Bikeman. Bikeman Performance. Bikeman Performance. Dallin is ready for an upgrade downtown Idaho. So the one problem that we have is we're going through this, you know, pretty rough road. Busy. Busy. And we have the big wedge trailer behind us. We hope their so parking lot's big enough. We'll see how we do here. When we pulled up, we had zero clue that we had blown a tire and there was zero smoke, nobody flagging us down. And that tire was gone to nothing, as you can tell. So there's a ton of rubber smashed and wound up behind the caliper there. We cannot get it out. We were using pry bars. Nothing was working. We got the winch out. Trusty winch. You know us. We need a winch for everything. Here we go. Let's winch it out. This is making it want to wrap around. The... There we go. Okay. Slowly. Slowly. Saves us again. <laughs> Look at I got dirty. It's proof that Dallin it's actually proof. gets dirty every once I've in a while. I've actually touched the ground before. All right. Oh, over here, you cut toward both. You got this, Jared. <laughs> right. And as we went to get the spare tire, the bolt had gotten stripped underneath, and so we we're trying to cut the bolt out. Nothing's just going our way, but we're gonna get to the sand dunes eventually. Oh no! <laughs> Not a. I don't even. That thing won't give up. Oh, it's a little hot, Chad. <laughs> I guess we can try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was gonna go through that. I mean, so. It's good to see you guys haven't changed it, right? Oh, uh, we're just as redneck as always. <laughs> the big one. Yeah. Awesome. Do you do? Re can you retread that? 
Just a little retread. Yeah, that's on there. We have this big thing and it goes all the way around the tire. Just left it right there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like a burrito wrap. Yeah. You guys dropping it off and wait for it? Uh, Bo's leaving. I'm waiting. <laughs> he got his feeling. What did you say to him? Getting red. He just said to him. He wouldn't hold a. He wouldn't hold your hand. Well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't hold it for you when uh, you were in the bathroom. So, yeah, that's rude. Now his face has gone red. And he's I mean, there, a rough day. there's a sink and a toilet. How are you having a rough day? I'm the one buying a tire. That's part of the course. You guys dropping it off or waiting for it? Uh, we'll wait. We're, no, no, we're dropping it off. We're dropping it off, okay. but like, we'll be right back. Okay, I'll give you a call. We're going to go look yeah, for a Costa Vida. Yeah, where's the closest Costa Vida? That's what I'm saying. We don't have Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll Google it. We're good. So head down the slight right where the mall is and everything. Turn left. Oh, it's by the mall? It's down by the mall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I know where it's at. I know where Custody is. Sweet. Let's go. Can we just take this one? Can we just take this one? It's already done. Looks a little smaller. You okay, bud? I really didn't. <laughs> this face is getting so red. It's still red. <laughs> All right, we made it out to the farm, and the farm is only about seven minute drive to the sand dunes right here. So here we go. We finally have made it to the St. Anthony sand dunes after a ton of miles, a ton of driving, beat, ready to rip. We finally made it to our happy place, the sand dunes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 